The purpose of this video is to review the mechanical components needed to run a successful isonine business with a properly equipped isonine rig. Choosing equipment that will be compatible with both the air and power requirements, as well as the intended application, is vital to the success of your isonine business. The equipment you choose should be based on your application requirements, ease of operation, low maintenance requirements, availability of parts and service, and overall dependability. The first decision that needs to be made is selecting the type of proportioner that will deliver the capacity you require. You must equip your isonine rig with a two-component, one-to-one ratio model with a high-pressure metering system that is capable of operating at pressures up to 2,000 PSI or 13,800 kPa. Various proportioning units are capable of installing the isonine insulation system. The unit you choose will also determine the size and output of some of the other equipment we will discuss later in this video. In choosing your proportioning unit, you must first consider the types of units available. Hydraulic driven and electric. Features important when choosing a proportioner are digital heat and pressure controls that let you program temperatures and pressures and monitor machine performance. Horizontal positive displacement pumps make it easier to service and provide smoother changeover for maintaining best spray pattern. Powerful hybrid heaters heat material quickly and maintain temperature set points, even when spraying at maximum flow rates. With hydraulic units, there will be the need to dispose of hydraulic oil on occasion. The electric system also requires less air and is easily portable. The second feature to consider when selecting a proportioning unit is material output. At 20 pounds per minute of output or less, your proportioner will usually be smaller, more portable, and require less power consumption, while being more than adequate to install the isodine insulation system. The final decision when choosing your proportioning unit is whether to use a single-phase or triple-phase power supply. A single-phase power supply, though more readily available on job sites, requires more amperage, thus a larger output generator. A triple phase power supply is more efficient, requires less amperage, thus reducing the generator's required output as well as cost. To help determine which unit fits your needs, contact these Isonine approved equipment manufacturers. Now that we have our proportioning unit and you know your air requirements, your second component for consideration is the air compressor. At this point, you must size the air compressor based on the cubic feet per minute of air that all of your air-operated equipment requires. The air compressor size is based on the requirements from all other air-operated equipment on the rig. The following compressor type is the most dependable, a two-stage reciprocating piston-type lube pump, complete with head unloaders and a minimum 30-gallon or 113.5-liter accumulating tank. Once you've determined your requirements based on your proportioning unit, air compressor, and accessories, you can now choose the appropriate size of generator. Having a generator aboard your isonine rig will ensure that you are self-sufficient and allow you to service any building site, as some sites may not have an alternate power source. The best type of generator is an 1800 RPM water-cooled diesel-powered unit on isolation mounts. It should have an integral fuel tank. If not, there will need to be another way to get fuel to the unit, i.e. a separate fuel tank and fuel line. It should be noted here that generator size will affect the weight requirements of your truck trailer. A size of 30 kW to 50 kW will suffice, with 40 kW being the most common. The next component you will need is a refrigerated air dryer. All air traveling to mechanical equipment must be dry. This is a necessity when working with air purge spray guns. There are numerous manufacturers of refrigerated air dryers. The unit must be selected to handle the total air requirements of the equipment in CFM or cubic feet per minute 
In this case, you must consider the air requirements of the proportioner, transfer system, spray gun, and your fresh air breathing system. Now that we've installed the air system, let's move on to the material supply system. A material supply system is required to get the material from the drums to the proportioning unit. The isonine insulation system is supplied in sets of two 55-gallon or 208-liter drums. Components of the material supply system include dip tubes inside the drums to bring the material through a 3-quarter inch or 2-centimeter high-pressure nylon inner core hose to the transfer pump, a low-pressure circulation hose to preheat and mix the material, and a drum mixer for the isonine proprietary resin. One of the most critical elements for the isonine insulation system is a drum mixer mounted on the resin drum. Isonine recommends the air or electric variable speed expanding blade mixer. For your convenience, Isonine provides appropriate drum lids for the resin B side to accommodate the mixer. Also, in humid climates, it is good practice to equip your ISO or A side with a desiccant drying system, which is drum mounted. The main components in the material supply system are the transfer pumps fitted with a 0 to 200 PSI or 0 to 1378.95 kPa air regulator and filters. Two types of transfer pumps exist, the drum pumps, also referred to as stick pumps, or the diaphragm pumps. While both pumps are air operated, the isonine recommends the use of a drum mounted stick pump on the resin B side. It must be noted here that the use of temperature gauges between the transfer pumps and the proportioning unit are necessary. These gauges are required to determine proper material temperature and will also aid in the troubleshooting process. The next components to consider are the heated hoses. Heated hoses deliver material from the proportioning unit to the spray gun and are sold with the proportioner in 50-foot, 15.3-meter sections. A 10-foot, 3.3-meter whip hose attachment is available and recommended. The maximum hose length is 300 feet, 91.4 meters, for most proportioning units. Your hose length will depend on the heating capability of the proportioning unit you choose. The heated hoses also contain an air line that runs along the hose length to connect to air purge guns. It is also strongly recommended that you protect your hoses with a scuff jacket to protect the heated hoses and connections. Now we are ready to discuss the circulation system. The circulation system consists of a circulation block and return lines back to the drums. This system allows for circulating components A and B for both mixing and heating purposes. The return hoses to the drums are generally a quarter inch or six millimeters in diameter. The circulation block is also used to mount the side blocks from the spray gun when not in use. Once the materials have been heated and mixed by the circulation system and are brought to spray temperature by the proportioner, they are ready to be applied with a spray gun. The spray gun is a very critical component of the equipment package. Experience gained in the past has shown that roughly 90% of all equipment problems are related to the spray gun. Therefore, a spray gun must be chosen for ease of operation and maintenance. Any of the following spray guns are recommended. Some of the accessories you may want to include on your isonine rig are extra power outlets, air conditioners or fans, thermostat controlled band heaters for your drums if you plan to work in cold climates. In cooler climates, drum heaters are required to preheat the material. Heated drum blankets are also a valuable accessory when having to work in cold weather conditions. In cold winter climates, a space heater for the interior of the truck trailer may be required. The type of heater used most often is electric portable or permanently mounted. It should be sized to maintain a temperature between 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 21 degrees Celsius. Local climatic conditions and insulation level of truck and trailer will determine the heating or cooling requirements.
Next, we come to safety equipment. Your isonine rig will require certain safety components, including a first aid kit, fire extinguisher, eye wash station, ear protection, gloves, disposable coveralls, and most importantly, a full face fresh air system. There are two basic types of respiratory protection devices available. The most popular system is a standalone electric approved pump that allows the use of one to seven respirators, depending on the model chosen. An alternative system is a series of approved airline filters in combination with a carbon monoxide monitor and alarm. The air is supplied directly from the compressor. This system is more prone to potential exposure to contaminants in the breathing air from the compressor and is not as highly recommended as the standalone system. Your isonine rig will also require a supply of tools, including dental picks, a set of Allen keys, clean-out brushes, and an assortment of screwdrivers, as well as a stock of spare equipment parts. Care and maintenance and a listing of spare parts will be covered in another training video. The following is a suggested list of the minimum extra tools and supplies needed on the truck and trailer at all times. Drill bits, 1 16th inch to 1 quarter inch, 2 to 6.4 millimeters. Combination wrenches, 5 16th inch to 2 inches, 8 to 51 millimeters. Vice, rubber hammer, 2 inch pipe wrench, staple gun, Teflon tape, complete set of screwdrivers, 3 16th inch, 5 millimeter T-handle ball driver. Ball driver set 1 16th inch 2 millimeters to 3 8 inch 9.5 millimeters. Duct tape and electrical tape. Volt meter. Small files. Toolbox. You should also have on hand a supply of dioctyl phthalate, DOP, lubricant, and ethyl glycol ether or other suitable solvent for cleaning the spray gun components. Now that you have all the components needed to outfit your isonine unit, you will need to select a truck or trailer combination that can handle the weight requirements of the chosen equipment, including the extra sets of material you may need. Personal preference, geographical location, and chosen equipment will play a large role in the vehicle you choose. Be advised that your choice of truck or trailer will determine the way you lay out the components contained within the unit. The purpose of this video was to show you the installation equipment needed to run a successful isonine business with a properly equipped isonine rig. Those components include a proportioning unit, a generator, an air compressor, a refrigerated air dryer, a material supply system, heated hoses, a circulation system, a spray gun, accessories such as band heaters, a full range of safety equipment, an assortment of tools and a suitable truck and or trailer combination. By following the guidelines in this video to assemble your rig, you are now equipped for business and ready to install the Isonine Insulation System.